the the whole experience was very traumatizing, devastating, and and it was bad. It was around half past three in the morning, and oh. we had a puncture, and we drove for quite a longer distance. Um, but ultimately, we had to stop because the tank, the puncture was getting damaged to the extent that it was the rim now that was on the on the on the on the on the, on the road. So they changed the the punch the tire when they were just putting back uh, the bags and the tire. Then I was sitting in the car, of course. Then we had I could hear that there was something happening. When I looked out, indeed there were people, and with mm-hmm. guns pointing at the protectors, they couldn't have could have done anything because they came behind them mm-hmm. with guns already pointed at them. So they ordered them to sleep, which I think it was the best thing for them to do. And then they came to the door, opened my door. Because at the time I realized that there was something happening, I tried to phone, take my phone and try, try to phone. Just even before I could do anything, they opened the door and pointed a, a, a fire a gun at my head and ordered me to come out. Uh, it was three well-dressed um not the, the 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 para type of a criminal mm-hmm. to sit and then they just asked for money uh, amongst the things they said which i think it's it's worth taking note of was that we know that you have money give us money and i said i don't carry money with me <laughs> i only have 200 rand in my bag as a matter of fact honestly i don't carry money um, cash in my bag so they opened the bag and they found that and there was a cell phone remember I tried to phone so the cell phone was just there uh, on the on the seat so then the one who was opening when I I, I I got out of the car I looked at this person he had gloves on but I looked at him I think I can recognize his face even if he had the black gloves on uh, but then I didn't want to continue doing that because I thought maybe he's going to shoot me if he realizes mm-hmm. that I can't be recognizing. And then there were three, the others were pointing fingers, and then the one who was in the, at the door, in, in my, in, in, at, at, at the seat, then ordered them to take anything, take cell phones, take whatever. They had some money that they found uh, from the protectors, but they did not search the front seat of the car of my car and somewhere one of them said who is your protector <laughs> i don't know what that means uh, one they say they we know you have got money two they ask me as to who is my protector the ordinary south africans will mm-hmm. not refer to protectors as bodyguards uh, it, it, it's 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 it, you must we must be a member of parliament or you must be a police member or somebody who knows uh, the, the working of government, that you know that the people that look after us are protectors, they are not bodyguards. Because they were took us, they checked on the other car, they found the something that showed to them that these are police. They searched them, they'd taken their firearms anyway. There was my brother there. They didn't search my brother. So they searched the two protectors, the two protectors, Mm -hmm. but not my brother. They didn't. And the protectors, because they were just coming to fetch me, they were not dressed formally. You know, they were dressed in well descent, but informally like my brother, but they did not search my brother. They didn't touch me, except when they were about to leave, where one saw my ring, and I think because now they were taking anything that they thought it's 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 of it has got some value, he then tried to re, to take out my ring and I said no, but you know, this is the only thing that I have. Because when he failed to take it out, he then pointed a firearm, and at that time I was scared that they can actually shoot, really shoot, because mm-hmm. they were to leave, so they had nothing to lose. They would shoot and kill and then run away. They'd taken everything. And I said, but this is the only thing I have between my late husband and myself. I value it so much, please. And he said, okay, uh, Mamzo. And then off they left. When they were leaving, then one other said, I, 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 there are police members here and I hate police. 
I just, I just feel like killing the police and off they go. I don't know whether that was maybe trying to make us think that it's ordinary criminals or what. I don't know. I don't know what was that. But then off they leave. At the time when they were actually crossing the road, if we had a firearm, we could have shot and killed them because they were not even looking at the back. Because I think at the time they knew that they've taken the firearms and everything and, and they were speaking Zulu, but they under, they could understand English. Uh, so when they actually saying, Sifuni mali, Sifuni mali, I responded to say, but I don't carry cash. They understood what I was saying, but insistently, continuously, they were speaking proper Zulu. Um, and then off they went. It's decent boys. They could be around the ages of late 20s or early 30s. Well-dressed, smelling no. No bad smell that you can think it's your mm. your whoop, car, No, it's not. Mm. They are eat. So even if they didn't have firearms, if you would want to fight back, it would mean that you are serious about it. But that was it. It was very devastating. I think it was traumatizing. But I'm okay now. I'm alive. Cell phone well left. I mean, it was stolen. The lap, uh, laptops they were stolen in my brother's bag. They took his <coughs> took his bag. <coughs> Said, please take out the the laptop because that bag has got the web documents, and they put it down. They took out the laptop, not realizing that there is also an iPad. So they took the laptop and left the bag. Fortunately, the iPad as well was inside, which is what we used to call after after that left. So that was that was our experience. But we are fine. We are healthy. We are alive. God's grace is. Mm-hmm. On us, I was. I prayed when I get again. I got out of that. When I said, "Oh God," they said, "Hey, <laughs> keep quiet." <laughs> it was a horrible experience. Say, but we are alive. God is had mercy on us. Nobody was touched. I was the only woman who was scared of everything, including lips and all. But they never touched me either. Then at the time, we tried to take out the ring. Thank you very.